Thanks for being here, everyone. I am Jean Peters Baker, the prosecutor for Jackson County, Missouri. Um, with me is the trial team um, for the case against um, former police detective Eric DeValconeer, and um, that resulted in a conviction uh, before a judge. And of course, um, the Bays are here with us as well, and uh, their lawyer is here too. So thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Um, this is, um, as everyone uh, probably has realized, something that's quite unplanned. But here we are. Um, so uh, the reason I've called you here today is to let you in on some news um, that we received um, throughout late this afternoon. We had set up several rumors. Fortunately, uh, my office has to work off rumors. Um, until we received a phone call from the mayor Quentin Lucas uh, confirming those rumors that were circulating through my office were true, and that was um, a very unfortunate action taken by the Missouri Attorney General uh, late today. Keep in mind the Missouri Attorney General is the highest law enforcement officer in the state. Um, so as the highest law enforcement officer, um, well, this is extremely uh, distressing and um, unfortunate, disappointing. And I can probably keep adding some adjectives, but I'll stop with that. I think what this Attorney General is attempting to do with the brief um, that was uh, filed momentarily with the Attorney General's office um, can only be explained this way, that he's really attempting to expand his power um, to that of a judge. But in this case, we already have a set of judges ready to hear this case. That's the Western District Court of Appeals. They are the proper authority um, in this case, um, not the Attorney General in this way. So I've already said this action um, is extremely unprecedented. I can't say in my time, uh, 25 year plus years of being here, um, that I've seen anything like this before. But here we are. My office stands for justice, and we're going to continue to do that. I don't want to speak for my mayor, but I would like to um, tell you just a, briefly the phone call that we had. We both expressed concerns um, about what might be next, whether or not there would be civil unrest in our city, and just the weight that Kansas Cityans are asked to repeatedly bear. Now, while I know Kansas Cityans are tough and resilient, um, this is a tough bit of news for them to swallow. What that brief apparently uh, does on behalf of the Attorney General, and I'm not going to go through uh, the points of his brief. In fact, um, we got it just moments ago, but it essentially confesses error, says that this trial team got it wrong. The judge. Um, judge who once um, has served in, in this circuit uh, for many years, is a respected judge, once worked as an assistant attorney general, that he got it wrong. So I want Kansas Cityans to know this. This office will keep fighting. We will keep fighting. It's what we do. We fight for justice. We fight for justice. And we're going to con continue to fight on this case. We are not done. We put our best forward on this case. Boy, we worked hard on this case, as we do. We sought others' opinions before we went forward here, including the Attorney General's office. We simply asked um, when we ran our facts and law by the Attorney General at the time, before filing, did we miss anything? What else should we know? What else do you think we should consider? Because we want it to get it right. We want it to get it right. We were guided by the assertions that we had it right by the Attorney General's. So 
here we are. Um, what I will tell you is that I personally respect this process. I know this trial team respects this process. It is important that the rule of law be maintained here. And the rule of law respects, there's a building that's just catty corner to us, that red brick building. That is the Court of Appeals. And that's where this, dis this dispute um, will be decided. But because of, of my respect for that building and that process and the rule of law, um, I'm not going to speak about that brief um, filed by the AG, but simply to say what I've already said. This is an unprecedented action. It's unprecedented. But I don't want Kansas City to feel like they are alone, that they don't have someone fighting for them, that they don't have somebody fighting for the rule of law and for justice, because you do. This trial team um, has done that from the very beginning, and they're going to continue to do that um, with me. Now, we have, um, of course, the bays here. Um, unfortunately, um, I have to give this family so much bad news. Um, it bothers me to be in the position of carrying that weight. Um, as I suggested to the governor, he should, he should meet this family. Because if he met them, he would love them. They're such good people. They deserve justice, just like all of you do. They're not different. They're not somehow below the law. They deserve justice. They deserve justice for their son. So that's what we're going to continue to fight for, justice. Um, Unfortunately, my office did not receive a call from the Attorney General's office, um, although we have uh, tried uh, to reach out to them. And very late this afternoon, I know that the base uh, received uh, that terrible call from the Attorney General. Um, so if the Bays are interested, uh, you're welcome to speak at this podium. Um, 